Welcome back on today's Community Conversation. We have here in studio with us Dr. John Olguin, Professor of Physics and Astronomy at EPCC to talk about the celestial event that is currently going on. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Perfect. Getting into it, meteors have been seen falling across El Paso, even being caught on home security cameras. We actually are in the middle of a meteor shower that happens every year at this time, also known as the Ada Aquarian. What can you tell us about this meteor shower and why this one is specifically caused? Well, this one's actually specifically caused because of Halley's Comet. So we go in, as we orbit the sun, we actually pass through the debris left from the comet in space. So we're going to see some of that debris actually falling through the atmosphere uh, this coming time. And now meteors commonly called shooting stars, they're mm -hmm. not actually stars. Now what exactly no. are meteors? So meteors are just very small pieces of debris left either from a comet or some leftover dust that might be in space. And it actually starts to burn up and through the atmosphere. So when it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere, you actually see a big bright glow, some bigger than others. Sometimes, you, I think just recently, we saw a big streak you know, going through the sky. That was absolutely magnificent <laughs> to see. It was awesome. But sometimes you get smaller ones, and those smaller ones are just, you know, that's what they look like. They look like shooting stars, but really it's just debris you know, going through the atmosphere. And what speed are these meteors entering the atmosphere at? Oh, they can go it, tens of thousands, maybe 100,000. No, no, sorry, not too much. I'm about, <laughs> about a thousand miles per hour or, or so, about that, that speed. Very fast. Yeah, very fast. <laughs> and the peak of the shower is actually just around the corner. Mm -hmm. What dates should people look out for? So you should be looking at the, the 5th of May, 6th of May, that uh, if you want to go have a great chance to actually go see it, go out to an area where it's like really, really away from the city lights. Just look in the general direction of Aquarius, the constellation Aquarius, and it should be in the northeast section of the sky, north northeast section, and it'll be happening. Has, you got to be awake. <laughs> it, it's going to happen after 12 o'clock in the morning, and between 12 and 5 o'clock in the morning is probably the best time to see it. So, just answer my next question. The peak time is pre-dawn that you need to go right. view it, and then uh, one more time, if you want to, like, if you want to go view this, where is the best place to do it here in El Paso? Where do you suggest? I would probably suggest areas where you would not just away from the city lights as much as possible. I think either northeast area, far east, uh, no far northwest El Paso. Those are probably the greatest places to, where you actually get enough dark skies to actually go see it. And Ada Aquarian, very interesting name. Where does this get the name from? So that the the well, it's actually the reason why you actually have the uh, the name that way is because that's where you, the most of the star, where most of the shooting stars, most of the meteors are actually going to be coming out of that constellation. So that's where it gets part of, part of its name from. Very yeah. interesting. And we had the total solar eclipse just happen, yes. and now we are in a meteor shower. What other celestial events should people keep in mind coming in the next months? Well, there's going to be a couple of ones that later. Other meteor showers throughout this uh, throughout the year. There's one that's in August, Perseid meteor shower. That's the biggest one that usually happens. A lot of people go out to see. Another one is a partial lunar eclipse later on in September. I believe like the 17th, 18th. So keep an eye out for that because that's going to be pretty phenomenal as well. It's not as great. I mean, it's, it's not the solar eclipse, but it is going to be a lunar eclipse that everybody can see here in the El Paso area. Pretty exciting stuff. And in the peak time of the meteor shower happening on the 5th and 6th, how many meteors can people expect to see if they're looking up at the sky? So depending on like if you the probably the peak is going to be around 30 an hour, possibly more. But you could also get other meteors in the, that you might be able to catch in the sky as well, not just the 30 maximum that you would see, but uh, it's, it's a great opportunity to actually just go out and see. Super exciting stuff. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. You. And if you just missed this community conversation, we will have this one posted on our website, kfoxtv.com, along with our past community conversations. We'll be right back right after the break. <laughs> 